Goeiedag allemaal en welkom bij nog een Afrikaans uh, Talk to me in Afrikaans video. Um, ons het so Rikkie van, uh, ons het so Rikkie breek gevat, want uh, my oinkie, uh, Rocky, is oorlede aan die begin van die jaar en december was een bykie mal, want ek het vir Solden gehad wat gekeir het, kom keir het en ek het net nie tyd gehad om by alles uit te kom nie en die dood van my, my oinkie het uh, my een bykie afgesit van enig iets doen, you know, jylle weet, maar ons is terug, ons is terug, ons begin een nieuwe ding, um, ek gaan het probeer soveel as moendlik in Afrikaans doen, maar ek gaan nou obviously oorslaan Engels toe, om jylle net een bykie te, te verduidelik wat aangaan. Right, welcome everybody, I've explained everything in Afrikaans, you can just read it, and today we are going to go with the following words, um, which is going to be crazy, you're not going to know what it's all about, but we're going to talk to you about it, and we're also going to try and make the pronunciation easier in my mind, and hopefully you can make the connotation there as well. Um, these are basically, I'm not an English teacher, this is basically words concerning you, us, them, mine, yours, theirs, and whatever. Right? So that's what we're going to focus on. Those type of words. Right? So the first one, and it's basically not going to follow any, any rules. Basically, how am I going to do this? I think I'm going to do it this way. Um, you're going to laugh. You're going to laugh right here. Let's just do this. That's the pronunciation bit. That's how you do... The pronunciation bit. How the hell do you do this? I think. Yeah, I think that's what you're going to do. Oh. <coughs> okay. Um, so that's that. Let's just continue on with these three things. Now, how you pronounce that word? The first word there is ak. which is me, essentially. That's the translation, me. But it's more... It's, it's closer to the word I, like an I do this, or I want to do that, than me. We're going to get to me soon, right? We're going to get to me soon. Um, and then it's basically I... You know, I'm talking about myself, it's I. And the next one is, as you can say it with me, yay. Which is essentially you. Right? Which is essentially you. Um, you, when you talk about... When you talk to someone specifically. So, uh, yay is... Mooi. Jij is goed. Jij is... You're talking about you are beautiful. You are good. You are... It's literally you, right? Now this one, I don't know if this would be a perfect one, right? Because it's pronounced ons. Not ons. Ons. So probably O-N-Z-E would be the pronoun... Ons. Is there a word in our English that can do that sound? Ons. I'm not, I'm not good at wordle, so I don't know. That is literally translated to us. Or we. Us slash we, right? Ons gaan school to. We are going to school. Ons gaan no slaap. We are going to bed. Or we are going to sleep. Ons gaan uit. We are going out. Or we are going out. Ons gaan uit. We are going out. So ons, right? Now this one is going to be a difficult one to pronounce. Yilla. How the hell do you say that? Ya. It's probably... Yeah, la. 
probably this. Yalla. Probably you guys are going to comment down below and tell me how you remember it. That is, um, it's probably, yeah, it's probably like this. Yeah, yeah, la. Yeah, not yeah, la, yeah, la. I don't know, but probably you guys are going to tell me. That is talking about them. Um, when you're talking about, when you talk to people specifically, when you talk to a group of people specifically, you're going to say, you guys, or you people, or you're pointing at them and saying, yalla, or you're like, there's a group of people coming around, there's two groups of people, you look at the one group, like, uh, in English, you'd go, you go over there, you guy, you people go over there, you people go over there, right? Where in Afrikaans, exact same thing, yalla gaan swintu, yalla gaan swintu, basically. So it, it's more <clears throat> focused on a grouping of people, like, okay, and then, so you, for, uh, uh, you directly addressing a group of people. That's how I would say it, right? Now this is hula, ha, ha. Her. Now I'm going to sit here because I'm improvising this. I'm improvising this. Hula. Hula. So it's basically almost like hello. Hula. But only it's basic. Uh, it's basically, I think, if you're going to do it this way, it's basically her. Like huh. Her. La. I think. Man, it seems like I'm writing Elvin letters here or something. So, hello. So, that is indirectly addressing a group of people. Indirectly address... Am I spelling it correctly? I don't know. A group of people. Like, they're doing this. They are... This. Hello. So... So, in that previous one, when I said, Yulla gaan suuntu and Yulla gaan suuntu, like, you go that way, you go that way, right? In that group, one person would probably, in one of the groups, one poor person would probably say, Vadunala? Vadunala? What are they doing? <clears throat> and I would answer, Hulle gaan daikantu. Or, they are going that side. Ons blay here, we stay here, or we move over there. Ons gaan daikantu. Right? That's hulla. And then this one is quite a good one. Now, there's a lot of, there's possessive, and there's, we're going to get to it. It's, it's, it's sort of, it's not complicated, it's just extra stuff added. If you look closely, like, if you look at this, like, yay and yilla, meaning yilla is basically the plural of yay, right? And hulla is just basically moving over from that side, um, moving like, there's no plural, it's just an added, the j, I'm, I'm talking in circles here. Now, may... Well, it's a very easy pronunciation. Let me just do, let me try and keep the same, same pronunciation. My car, my car, my house, my house, my, my coffee, my coffee, my whatever. Can I spell? Basically, my in English. That's basically what it is. Um, oh, this one's quite cool. This one's quite cool. This one's pronunciation is quite cool. 
Yo. Basically, again, look at this. Basically, you in English. But, now this is where it becomes difficult. You would say, in English, you would say, your car. But in Afrikaans, directly translated, it would be, you car. Yo car. Yo kunt. Your child. Yo, yo coffee. Your coffee. But it's said as your. So the possessive, the RE possessive, I think that's what you call it, or the R possessive goes away in Afrikaans up until a point. Up until a point. We're going to get to the possessive, but this is going to be a little, this is going to be difficult to explain until we get later into the thing. So for now, just accept that when you say, Your car in Afrikaans, it, you, you don't say you are car or whatever. You say yo car, right? Now, oh, I forgot that one. I forgot that one. So let's just go here. So we're getting on to the next one, which is... Um, Har. So imagine saying hard, but without the D. Ladies. <laughs> imagine saying hard, with, but without the D. So har. Har. Right? That is basically the her in English. That's, I'm going to say that a lot. Her in English. Um, and then we're going to actually expand on this one a little bit in the next video as well. We're just running through this and then I can just, uh, I just want to explain to you how to pronounce this. And then in the next video, we'll continue on with this. Um, home. Home. Basically, as you see it. Not home, home. So, like you know that. Freaking, I think it's, I think it's a, I think it's a French word that they usually use in la pour homme, you know, but it's probably la pour homme, so it's probably not even the correct pronunciation. It's very difficult, I'd say it's just homme. Yeah, it's just homme, homme. Um, the O is a bit more rounder. I don't know. If you've got any suggestions on how, how you find, figure out how to pronounce these things, let me know. Home. Okay. Um, it is basically the... Male version. It's basically he. But, huh, no. Her. Him. It's basically him. That's basically him. I should have moved the other stuff around. Okay, so let's just move on to this one. That's how you say it. Say. So that is essentially she. And this one, what do you think this would be? It's similarly pronounced hey, which is basically he. Right? And this is where we get into the fun part. This, this thing goes into possessive, but only with certain words. Right? And then some of them just changes the fuck around. But we're going to walk work through this. So sin is basically that. So this sort of says the possessive. All right, that's about it. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Uh, talk to me in Afrikaans. And in the next one, we'll continue on with these. We'll expand a little bit on these words. 
And, uh, you know, as I say in the other ones, hug someone you love, tell someone you love them, and until next time, you should have a good one. <laughs>